everyone, this is the Soya Investing Channel. My name is Colin, your average investor searching for above average returns. Today, we're going to talk about Warren Buffett's purchase of RH, why they bought RH, what is RH, and where is RH going in the future. So let's get to it. Back in 2019, November, uh, Brookshire Hathaway bought a $1.2 million purchase stake in RH. Um, at that time, um, the value in September was around $206 million, okay, at $1.2 million. So that is actually a very small amount, and they've increment, increased it to 1.8 million shares, but it's grown a lot, two to 300 million to now 900 something million. If you look at the price appreciation, they bought it around, around here, and now it's gone up. They could have sold it here, but they're long-term investors. Um, it's dropped a bit, but still way higher than where they bought it before. Okay, so first let's look at the financials. What did they see in RH even? Um, you look at they were losing money and they were making money. So it's a bit kind of inconsistent. On the top line, you see it was increasing in value, right? From one to two in less than five years. Well, they were actually pivoting in 2018. As you can see, uh, they were changing strategy because before they used to be a company like this, very much like Lazy Boy, or Ethan Allen, that kind of home furnishing shop. But they said they wanted to become upscale, be like Louis Vuitton and Chanel. And look at the stores now that they've developed. And this is all from the mind, the CEO of Gary Friedman. And you can see even they're, they're really restoring old buildings. And you see the difference here. They're climbing that, what they call that luxury mountain. In the future, what you can see is that they even have a target. They want to become a 20 to 25 billion global brand. They already found and building one in RH England, RH Paris, and also their plans on the, um, Munich. That's the future. Okay. In North America, they said five to six billion in revenue, but globally, they're looking for 20 to 25 billion. And this is all because of the founder, Gary Friedman. What is this guy about? Well, this is a guy that used to work at William Sonoma with the pottery barn division, $50 million starting off and it turned into a billion dollar lifestyle brand. Okay. He was like, he was climbing up the ranks. He was supposed to be the CEO of William Sonoma, but was passed up by the opportunity to pick somebody else. So rather than staying with them, you know, and he could have had like, if he stayed with them, he probably would have gotten like $50 million worth of stock options. He instead went into restoration. He took $5 million of his own money and helped that brand to what it is today. $20 million market cap. And now it is already about an $8 billion market cap company. This guy really knows how to turn around a company, right? He actually almost went into bankruptcy like oh, around 10 times. Uh, one thing to note is that again, in 2018, they actually bet on themselves, bought back a lot of stock at that time. I had an opportunity to work for pretty smart people. And plus I've studied Warren Buffett all the time. And I, and I watched at, in, in 2008, 2009, Warren Buffett, it, you know, Warren was lending money to Goldman Sachs, lending money to B of A. And, 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 and so when the capital markets were ripe, uh, we thought, geez, can we access capital markets? And we were able to do two convertible deals at zero coupons, right? It's, it's almost smart, like free smart. money, right? Free money. And so we were able to do that and we didn't need the money. And that's a good time to get the money. So six, 600 million plus uh, of convertible bonds. And when we went through the transformation, we went public in 2012 and we were the perfect public company for 12 quarters, right? Mm -hmm. And you know something's going to go wrong at some point. Yes. You're going to blow a tire. The, the question is when you blow a tire, do you pull your car into the pits? and change the tires due to go right back out. We decided to pull into the pits and rebuild the whole car, to re-architect the, the back end of the business, to move from a promotional model to a membership model. You know, the stock went down to 25. And, and we said, look, um, if if they don't want to bet on us, uh, we'll bet on ourselves. And so we, we took a, uh, the, the money on the balance sheet, we raised some other capital, and we bought back half the company. Bought back half the company. And again, he said 0% convertible bond. 2018, and I'm sure this is what Warren Buffett's team saw and saw the changes of uh, restoration hardware. Uh, if you look at the brand, they're trying to elevate the brand. So this, they're RH1 and RH2, which are the airplanes. So these are private charter airplanes that you can take that they transform again to elevate the brand, the home furnishing. Okay, and give this a listen. This is. Uh, but we don't we don't spend our time. You know, trying to convince people to love us. We you know we do what we love with people that we love. 
for people that love us. He's not focused on Wall Street. He's just focused on getting the brand better. And there's a lot of doubters here. If you look at the shorts, okay, there's a 17% short position. I mean, if you look at today, it's been it's dropped considerably from from that the highs way up there, 700 all the way to 300. But if you look at the brand, okay, on Google, you'll see the ratings aren't bad. A lot of the gal they call the stores the galleries. The galleries have restaurants, and that's what drives traffic. Okay, so if you look at the food, even it's nice and fancy. Right, some place you really want to go. This is our our location, Yorkdale, four point two, New Chicago, four point six, in Boston, four point four. Okay, R H Greenwich, three point six, Los Angeles, three point nine. Actually, these two places don't have a restaurant, so maybe that's why it's a little bit lower. But four point five, Palm Beach, West Palm, Hollywood, four point three. RH Marine, and they're not done. Like I said, they want to build that international expansion in Paris and London. Spent 105 million in Aspen because that's where all the rich people are. Building a special boutique hotel and guest house. See, a bathhouse and a spa. Okay, and also fully furnished homes, RH residence. Okay, if you give this a listen here. So if you someone buys a 10 million dollar home, they spend about one million dollars to furnish it. Wow, and and uh, you know if they spend five million, you know it's about five hundred thousand on average. It's a good, good rule of thumb. So I always say we're only in the ten percent of the business. If we can sell the whole home, we're in the hundred percent of the market. You know, and and we think we can do that, and 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 so that becomes an even bigger amplifier. That's where yeah. we think you know this this could be a seventy to a hundred billion dollar platform. Wow. You know, so think about that seventy to hundred billion dollar platform. Okay, and I believe that too. If he can execute what he what he wants to do, and if you look at, I highly encourage you to go to the RH website and look at their storytelling of the the restoration of their buildings, because they really know how to build it. If you watch it, they're really good at storytelling. This is a very exciting company. Yeah, so I'm glad you made it to the end. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, learned something, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time.